morning guys, welcome back to another one. Normally these frost scrolls destroy me, so... Today that is not the case. This is the real prize. The Vines job. from Azura. Do not waver, wary traveler. Accept this gift with only the truest of hearts. Take it with the love and blessing of Azura. Only with the purest intentions, lest we become corrupted. Take heed when a gift becomes a curse. Find anything? Was there any treasure? Sure was. Here's your share of the treasure. Thanks. I can really plan ahead and make life better for myself with this. I really don't know how to thank you. So what are you gonna do with your share? I always wanted to visit the Gold Coast. Once I'm done here, I'll make my way to Cyrodiil and see where the adventure takes me. Set yourself up hunting again? I always fancied owning a guest house or inn. Well, I wish you only the best, Rose. What about you? What will you do? 
<laughs> Doesn't even answer. How's our girl? She's holding up. She's taken to the soup, and the nettle potion has helped a great deal. It shouldn't be long before she's sitting up. <clears throat> Thanks for all your help. You've been most kind. I'll still have to think of some way to reward you. We got all the reward we need. I did say I would think of a way to make it worth your while. And neither did I expect anything. I'm helping only because I care. Oh, I embarrassed myself yet again. Life is hard for me. I'm sorry. I never take advantage of anyone, especially not you. Oh. You're not like most of the others. <laughs> the others? No. You're a beautiful, kind, loving person. I just want to help. Okay, now I am blushing. Thank you. It means a lot. <laughs> Plus, you're not my type. <laughs> I mean, you have a big heart. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I really do. Glad to have met you too, Rose. You'll make a good husband one day for that lucky person. Maybe I'm the lucky one. Maybe you are. What now? <laughs> Why don't we get some rest? What about Rigmore? She'll be fine. With a bit of luck and the God's blessing, she should be sitting up in no time. Straight no rig more. <laughs> Good morning, Rigmore. Hey, where's my stuff? All in good time. What happened? You were badly wounded. How did I get here? I carried you here. Yeah, hey. Thanks for that. Sorry, I can be an asshole at times. My social skills are somewhat lacking. Yeah, forget about it. I was falling. It all went dark. Have you seen Rose? Is that her name? She helped save your life. She said she was going to see some guy in Riverwood. She said there were a lot of Thalmor around recently, and now as I'm sitting up, she wanted to check if the coast was clear. How long has she been gone? About an hour. How are you feeling? Damn, it hurts. But I'm okay, I guess. Okay, listen to me. I'm gonna go get Rose, okay? You're coming back, right? I'll be back, with Rose and your curse. My cuirass? It was damaged. I'm guessing that's where Rose is gone to pick it up. She's going to be alright, isn't she? Guess we're about to find out. What if something happened to her? What if something happens to you? Uh, I'll die out here. I can hardly sit up, let alone survive. Sometimes you have to do what's right, even if it means risking everything. I'll be fine. Just don't get killed, okay? Damn boat. <laughs> Wait, they can fast travel. Yeah, I'm used to playing on survival, so.
What do we have here? Hedrin has been telling us all about what's been going on. As you know. Yeah, and if you don't want to join that skank rose in some Thalmor torture chamber, you'll pay us a hundred gold and be on your way. Well, you see, it seems we have a little problem. <laughs> hey lads, it seems we have a little problem. I'll wager you don't have enough gold, right? Or maybe your brain is out of the mead. <laughs> yeah, the latter. You see that curious you're wearing? That belongs to Rigmore. <laughs> you mean this curious? Well, I'll tell you what. The price is now a thousand gold. And there's no leave it option. <laughs> Didn't even give me a leave it option last time. <laughs> Now then, if you hand, over, hand it over like a good little boy, like I know you're gonna. <laughs> what? Might just let, let you leave here with your heads still intact. Get him, boys! Adrian, what happened to Rose? I didn't know at the time that Maureen had been spying on me. She saw me working on the armor and told the Thalmor. When Rose came to fetch it, they were waiting. Where did they take Rose? I don't know. They headed south, but Maureen was bragging and he'd been to their base, a fort in the mountains on the border. It, it, it wasn't my fault. Better get this mess cleared up. What about Rose? Leave Rose to me, I'll take care of it. Y'all Balgriff isn't happy. Your left is meant to be on her way. Or what are you doing? Picking flowers. Picking flowers? I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, it's okay. Did you get my stuff? Where's Rose? You'd better sit down. Okay. been taken by the Thalmor. Then we must go after her. Do you know where they took her? Edrin mentioned a fort on the border in the mountains, south of here. Fort Black. I know that place. I was planning to go there. Angie told me how to get there. <clears throat> I have a map back at her camp. Angie? It's a long story. Well, you're wanted for murder, right? <laughs> Rigmar Bruma, 15,000 gold coin, dead or, dead or alive. What? You going to hand me in? Well, here I am. It's going to be the only chance you'll get. Show me an explanation at the very least. Oh, yeah? How do you figure that one out? Hey, Rose and I saved your life. Probably know you could be a murderess. <sighs> Sirida. And Bruma. They were 
responsible for my father's death. Is that why you were, they were after you? They got lucky. I was on my way to Rifting when they jumped me. I was going there to meet someone who had news about my mother. We were... I was... I don't even know why I'm telling you this. I don't even know you! It's Fort Black. I think that's where they've taken Rose. There's only one Thalmor fort in the mountains near here. But we can't leave it too long if we want to save Rose. Take me back to Angie's. We can plan our next move from there. Are you feeling? Can you walk? If we take our time and rest often, I can follow you. We take the boat to the south shore of the lake, head south, keeping away from the roads. That's if you want to. I don't think I could make it alone. Take you to see Angie's first, then we'll go save Rose and come back here later. Okay then. You got my stuff? I'll need a weapon too. They took mine. I need you to follow me from now on. Like you're my guardian angel now? Something like that. I would take later. Okay. Well, let's go. After you. Yeah, for some reason the ragged robes uh, don't come off. There. Alrighty. So I found the easiest way to get to Port Black, or Angie's, is going through Falkreath. few times I had a hard time getting back up there, but... Found a couple ways now.
you reckon the Earl's an ass? <laughs> Angie reckons right. Exactly how to get up the mountain. Just up ahead here. Not this one. going this way.
social this Angie. Name's Angie. Think you might be in the wrong place, friend. And if you try anything stupid, I won't hesitate to put an arrow in your head. I'm here with Rigmore. Nah, I don't think so. She's under my protection. Don't get any bright ideas. She's with me now. Is that so? We'll see about that. Calm down, I'm a friend. Very well. Consider yourself warned. Then keep your hands to yourself. Cozy little setup you got here. Yeah, it's cool. So, what's with Angie? I got myself seriously wounded after the Bruma thing. Angie found me while she was hunting in the forest. I was almost dead, and if it wasn't for her, I would have bled out and died right there. Lucky that she found you then. Yeah, she brought me here and nursed me and sat with me through the fever. We share some similarities. We've both suffered greatly for events not of our making. She treats me as if I were her own daughter. Yeah, I noticed how protective she was of you back there. Don't be too put off by her abruptness. She really is a nice person once you get to know her. Mention to her about those practice targets. She'll like that very much. It'll break the ice and give her a chance to get rid of that damn bow she's always on about. I'll think about it. You won't regret it. It's actually very good. So apart from being on the run, why Skyrim? I'm not sure. Adventure, maybe? Or Sanctuary? Even as it's not safe for me now in Cyrodiil. Skyrim is my ancestral home. I've never been here before. I want to explore a little and see it for myself. What happened to your mother? My mother and I were sold into slavery. I was very young when we were separated. I haven't seen her in four years. I don't even know if she's still alive. Barandar, who's very special to me, managed to send me a note. He has some information on my mother's ring, but it'll have to wait. Rose needs us, and I want to get my father's sword back. So what about you? What happened to you back then? I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about that right now. Maybe some other time. I'm going to rest a while. Why don't you go take a look at my map in Angie's shack? It's on the table. It'll give you a chance to break the ice with her. Let me know when you're ready to move out. And I think I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button and subscribe. Peace.